Hey what's up everyone welcome back to Epicop I am Syed Musa Kaleem and today I am really excited because we are going to start learning something new and that is Ionic 2 as you all know that I have given an introduction part on Ionic 2 uh, Ionic 2 is a hybrid mobile app development framework which is built on top of Angular 2 it allows you to create hybrid mobile apps using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So using the web languages, web technologies, you could develop the hybrid mobile apps which runs on all platforms that are Android, Windows and iOS. So this is the website, this is the official website for Ionic. If you want to get started with Ionic, then this is the website. As you can see here, when we click get started button we have two options design with ionic creator and code with CLI I would like to go with CLI so before we we get started there are a few things we need to install and that things are the first thing is node.js you have to download Node.js on your local machine if you want to get started with Ionic and this is the website for Node.js Node.js.org and I would recommend you to download this version which is version 8.0.0 uh, uh, don't download this version download this version this is the latest version of Node.js I have installed Node.js on my local machine so I'm not going to install it again and the second thing is Android Studio as you can see here Android Studio you can download Android Studio from developer.android.com and the, here is the Android Studio so after installing Android Studio I would also suggest you to download Git Bash because when we deal with uh, Ionic apps so we should be able to write the commands on git bash you can also write the commands ionic serve, ionic run these all commands in your vs code powershell as well but git bash I would, suggest, I would suggest you to use git bash for those commands so for git bash this is the website gitscm.com and finally the editor which we are using which we are going to use for creating Ionic 2 applications and this is the editor Visual Studio Code which is available on code.visualstudio.com so these four things you need to install before getting started with Ionic 2 and after installing all these things we'll start with this document that is Ionic Framework document so code with CLI part under this part you can see here you can download or you can install Ionic using this command what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this command and I'm gonna paste it down here on my command prompt and hit enter in my case I won't hit enter because I have already installed Ionic, NPM, Node.js all things I have installed on my local machine so I'm not gonna hit enter So this is the command for installing Ionic and Cordova and the second thing is that if you want to start a new project then you should use this command called Ionic start your app name and the starter template in this command tabs is the starter template you could also select blank template as well or you could also select side menu there are three different starter templates in Ionic which is predefined in Ionic templates so I have created a new blank application using this command that is Ionic start and your app name and the te starter template which is blank so after in after inst after creating your new project in VS code this is my this is my VS code as you can see here I have created a simple application in Ionic 2 and this is my folder structure I would, sh I, I would like to show you I have created one folder called VS projects 
inside this I have created one project called Ionic Playground and this is the folder structure and these all are the folders in this structure or in this Ionic 2 folder application folder these are the hooks and inside this hooks we have readme.md file if you want to get started if you are a newbie then you should read this file so we are not going to explore that file now and these are the node modules and inside this we have different kinds of node modules which is not which are not a part of this video as we are seeing the installation and the project setup of Ionic 2 so this is the basic introduction video of Ionic 2 and this we are going uh, we are going to see how we can get started with Ionic 2 as I have shown you how to install and set up your project so these are the platforms in in platforms folder we have two platforms now Android and Windows and the other file is platforms.json so I I haven't installed iOS folder inside this platforms folder uh, if you want to install then you could install using ionic install platform iOS this is the command ionic install platform iOS using this command you could also you could install iOS platform in your project so we are going to explore the next folder that is plugins and also I would like to say you about ionic awesome things ionic provides you the native mobile functionality being a hybrid mobile app development framework it does it, it, it allows you to create native functionalities in your app so we have different kinds of ionic, ionic native plugins so these all these all are the Cordova plugins and you could also install any plugin in this folder so these are the resources and this is the source file which we are which we mainly deal in this project this is the source folder and inside this source folder we have app folder and inside app folder we have four we have five different files app.component.ts in ionic app everything will be considered as a component and this component will be rendered inside this module that is app.module.ts this is the root module of your application where your application will start running so this is the file if you want to add a new page in your app then you should declare in this app.module.ts inside the declarations firstly you need to import that page and after that you uh, you have to declare your page inside this declaration attribute which is present in this ng model decorator so after declaring that page you have to also register you have to also declare that page that include that page in the entry components which is present inside this entry components attribute so I have my I have three pages inside this project that is home page contact page and the basic model page so after declaring these all pages inside app.model.ts I would like to show you I would like to tell you about few things about uh, app.component.ts uh, com, app so this is the main component of your app and you have to import the pages in app.component.ts file as well and if you want to use the navigation or the router in Ionic 2 apps then you have to include all the important things in these two files that is app.component.ts and app.module.ts and these are the files for styling your app you should use this app.scss file as we are using scss means it is a sas file it is a css pre-compiler so we are we have to style our ionic 2 apps using sas so this this was all about the app folder which is present inside the source 
now i'm going to tell you about the assets inside assets you could store your images which will be used in your ionic 2 project and these are the icons five icons and the next thing the next folder which is very important in ionic 2 project structure that is pages the pages folder contains all the pages which is present in your ionic 2 application so in my pages folder as you can see here I have four different pages alert basic model contact and home so this is the home page and inside the home folder I have three different files that are home.html home.scss and home.ts typescript file so inside home.html I have my HTML part and inside home.ts I have all those things like uh, nav controller if I want to use nav controller then I should import this nav controller first and then I have to assign it to the controller and then I have assigned it to the constructor I have to pass as a parameter in the constructor as you can see here nav controller alert controller all the controllers I have passed as a parameters in my constructor and these are these all are the methods which I am using on my home.html file and this is the home.scss file so this file is used for styling your home dot home page so this is this uh, this is all about the pages so I have all pages inside my project you can see here I have four different pages and coming to the last part of this video that is package.json this is the important file as this file maintains all the dependencies all the NuGet packages in your application this file maintains all the dependencies of your application and config.xml this is the main file while you are deploying uh, while you deploy your app on the app store then this is the main file because when you deploy the app you have to give the app name where you can give here and you have to give the description of the app which you can give in this description tag and all the things are important you have to give your you have to give your email and also the unique ID your unique ID app store ID would be here which is present inside the widget tag so this was all about the Ionic 2 installation and project setup. Hope you understand about this video. Hope you got this. And thanks for watching this video and see you again.